I am Dr. Manoj Suryavanshi, Assistant Professor at AISSMS College of Hotel Management and Catering Technology. Today, we are beginning with the chapter on Biodiversity Patterns. A learning outcome of this content is to understand Biodiversity Patterns. Biodiversity, the variety of life on Earth, encompasses the diversity within species, between species and of ecosystems. It manifests in complex patterns shaped by various factors including climate, geography and human activities. Understanding these patterns is crucial for conservation efforts and for comprehending the intricate wave of life that sustains ecosystems and human societies. Biodiversity patterns vary significantly across different regions and habitats. Tropical rainforests such as, such as the Amazon are renowned for their extraordinary species richness. These regions, although covering only about 7% of the Earth's surface, harbor more than half of the world's terrestrial species. The immense diversity is attributed to the stable, warm climate and high levels of primary productivity that support complex food webs and a wide array of niches. Conversely, polar regions like Antarctica exhibit low species diversity but have high levels of endemism. Species in these harsh environments have evolved unique adaptations to survive extreme cold and seasonal fluctuations in food availability. Biodiversity patterns likely illustrates the distribution and diversity of biological species across different regions and ecosystems. Biodiversity patterns are influenced by various factors including climate, geography, altitude and human activities. Here is a summary of key concepts related to biodiversity patterns. Biodiversity patterns refer to the distribution and variety of life forms across different spatial scales from local ecosystems to global biomass. These patterns are influenced by various factors including climate, topography, habitat, heterogeneity and human activities. Understanding biodiversity patterns is essential for conservation efforts, ecological research and sustainable management of natural resources. At a global scale, biodiversity exhibits distinct patterns. The equator equatorial regions such as the Amazon rainforest and the Congo basin are known for their high species diversity due to favorable climatic conditions and stable environments. In contrast, biodiversity decreases towards the poles due to colder temperatures and less stable habitats. On a regional scale, factors like habitat, diversity and historical events shape biodiversity patterns. For instance, mountain ranges often host diverse species due to the variety of habitats created by elevation gradients, islands, isolated from mainland ecosystems, often exhibit unique assemblages of species, including many endemic species found nowhere else. At the local level, biodiversity patterns are influenced by microclimatic conditions, soil types and disturbances. Habitats such as wetlands, forests and grasslands each support specific communities of plants and animals adapted to local conditions. Human activities profoundly impact biodiversity patterns. Habitat destruction, fragmentation, pollution and climate change can disrupt natural ecosystems, leading to loss of species and reduce biodiversity. Conservation efforts aim to mitigate these impacts through habitat restoration, protected area management and sustainable land use practices. Monitoring and understanding biodiversity patterns are essential for effective conservation strategies. Tools such as biodiversity assessments, species inventories and remote sensing technologies help scientists and policy makers track changes in biodiversity over time and identify areas of high conservation priority. Ultimately, preserving biodiversity pattern is critical 
for maintaining ecosystem resilience, supporting ecosystem services and ensuring the well-being of both human societies and the multitude of species with which we share the planet. Latitudinal grad gradient Biodiversity typically increases as one moves from the poles towards the equator. This is known as the latitudinal diversity gradient. Tropical regions near the equator have higher biodiversity compared to temperature and polar regions. The latitudinal gradient refers to the pattern of biodiversity variation observed along lines of latitude on the Earth's surface. Typically, species diversity is highest near the equator and decreases towards the poles. This phenomena is influenced by factors such as climate stability, habitat complexity and evolutionary history. Near the equator, consistent temperatures and abundant rainfall create favorable conditions for diverse ecosystems. While at higher latitudes, harsher environmental conditions limit species richness. Understanding the latitudinal gradient is crucial for conservation efforts as it helps identify regions of high biodiversity and prioritize areas for protection and management in the face of ongoing environmental changes. Now let's discuss what exactly mean by alt altitude gradient. Biodiversity also varies with altitude. Generally lower altitude have higher biodiversity due to favorable climatic conditions and more complex habitats. As altitude increases, biodiversity tends to decrease due to harsher environmental conditions. Now let's see what exactly mean by habitat diversity. Regions with diverse habitats such as tropical rainforest and coral reefs tend to have higher species richness. These environments provide a variety of niche that support different species. Habitat diversity refers to the variety of different ecosystems present within a given area. It encompasses a range of habitats such as forests, wetlands, grasslands, deserts and aquatic environments, each characterized by unique physical features, vegetation types and ecological processes. Greater habitat diversity typically supports higher levels of biodiversity as it provides a wider array of niches, niche and resources for plant and animal species. Protecting and preserving habitat diversity is crucial for maintaining ecosystem health, supporting species populations and promoting resilience to environmental changes. It also ensures the provision of ecosystem services essential for human well-being such as clean air and water, pollination and carbon sequestrations. Now let's discuss what, what do you mean by island biogeography. Islands often have unique species and high levels of endemism due to their isolation. The theory of island biogeography explains how the size of an island and its distance from the mainland affect species diversity. Island bio, uh, biogeography is the study of species distribution and diversity on islands, examining factors influencing species richness, abundance and composition. It is guided by the theory proposed by MacArthur and Wilson which highlights the interplay between immigration and extinction rates in shaping island ecosystems. Islands isolated from mainland habitats often exhibit unique assemblages of species including many endemic to specific islands. Factors such as island size, distance from the mainland and habitat heterogeneity influence species colonization and extinction dynamics. Understanding island biogeography is crucial for conservation efforts, especially on islands facing threats like habitat loss, invasive species and climate change. Human activities have profoundly altered natural biodiversity patterns, habitat destruction, climate change, pollution and the introduction of invasive species are major drivers of biodiversity loss. 
deforestation in tropical regions for instance not only reduces species richness by eliminating habitats but also fragments landscapes isolating populations and impeding gene flow climate change is shifting the distribution of species forcing many to migrate to new areas where conditions are more favorable however not all species can move quickly enough leading to local extinction and altered community compositions pollution particularly from agricultural runoff and industrial activities degrades habitats and reduces the quality of resources available to organisms invasive species introduced intentionally or accidentally by humans often outcompete native species leading to declines or extinctions of indigenous populations conservation biology seeks to understand and mitigate the impacts of these threats on biodiversity one approach is the establishment of protected areas which aim to preserve critical habitats and the species that depend on them protected areas are most effective when they are strategically located in biodiversity hotspots and are connected by ecological corridors that allow species to move between them another strategy involves restoring degraded ecosystems to their nat natural state which can enhance biodiversity and ecosystem services conservation efforts also also focus on preserving genetic diversity within species as this genetic variability is crucial for populations to adapt to changing environmental conditions technological advancements are playing an increasingly important role in biodiversity research and conservation remote sensing and geographic information system that is called gis allow scientists to monitor changes in land use and habitat fragmentation over large scales molecular techniques such as dna barcoding and environmental dna eDNA analysis enable the identification and monitoring of species including those that are difficult to detect through traditional methods these tools provide valuable data for assessing the status of biodiversity and for designing effective conservation strategies public awareness and engagement are vital components of biodiversity conservation education programs that highlight the importance of biodiversity and the threats it faces can inspire individuals and communities to take action citizen science initiatives where members of the public participate in data collection and monitoring efforts have proven to be effective in gathering large amounts of information and fostering a sense of stewardship moreover sustainable practices in agriculture forestry and fisheries can help balance human needs with the conservation of biodiversity global efforts to protect biodiversity are coordinated through international agreements and organizations the convention on biological diversity that is cbd established in 1992 sets out goals for the conservation of biological diversity the sustainable use of its components and the fair and equitable sharing of benefits arising from genetic resources the hc biodiversity targets adopted in 2010 provide a framework for biodiversity conservation actions up to 2020 and the post 2020 global biodiversity framework aims to build on these efforts collaboration among countries non governmental organizations and the private sector is essential for achieving these goals in conclusion the biodiversity patterns are shaped by complex interplay of natural and anthropogenic factors the latitudinal and elevational gradients island biogeography biogeog and the impacts of human activities all contribute to the distribution of of life on earth understanding these patterns is essential for effective conservation strategies that can mitigate the threats to biodiversity and ensure the continued provision of ecosystem services that are vital for human well-being by combining scientific research technological innovations public engagement and international cooperation we can work towards a sustainable future where biodiversity thrives biodiversity patterns are shaped by a complex interplay of ecological evolutionary and environmental factors across various scales 
A key pattern is the latitudinal gradient where biodiversity increases from poles to equator, peaking in tropical regions due to stable climates and high productivity. The species area relationship shows that larger areas support more species, highlighting the importance of preserving large habitats. Altitude also affects biodiversity generally decreasing with elevation but sometimes peaking at mid elevations due to unique habitats. Habitat heterogeneity boosts biodiversity by providing diverse niches. Historical events and evolutionary processes have left enduring marks on biodiversity with stable regions like tropical forest hosting high diversity. Disturbance regimes both natural and anthropogenic shape biodiversity with intermediate disturbance often enhancing diversity. Islands exhibit unique biodiversity patterns marked by high endemism but vulnerability to invasive species and environmental changes. Human activities including habitat destruction and climate change profoundly impact biodiversity, often reducing species richness and disturbing, disrupting ecosystems. Understanding these patterns is crucial for conservation guiding efforts to protect biodiversity hotspots and manage ecosystems sustainably. In summary, biodiversity patterns reflect a dynamic and multifaceted interplay of natural and human influences essential for guiding effective conservation strategies. So uh, in the conclusion, we have covered uh, latitudinal gradient, altitude gradient, habitat diversity, and island biogeography. Thank you.